Hello, virtual campus students and community. My name is Mr. Krupp, and I teach second grade in our virtual campus. Here's my second grade class. Aren't they amazing? Well, I'm here to tell you something else that's amazing. Another thing that's amazing is reading, and March is reading month. So I wanted to tell you some of my top favorite things about reading. Number one, first of all, reading is always better when you can share it with a friend. Wait, what's that? What's that? Oh no. Duomo, where did you come from? You're just in time. I was just about ready to read a book about two unlikely friends. Would you like to share it with me? Perfect. It's called Those Darn Squirrels. Those Darn Squirrels. <coughs> Number two, reading exercises our imagination. I just love stepping into a character's life that I'm reading about like mean old Mr. Crop from Captain Underpants. Wait, I am Mr. Crop. I imagine what it would be like to be hypnotized by those troublemakers, George and Harold. Or when I read books like Who Was Muhammad Ali? I imagine what it might feel like to become the heavyweight champion of the world. Number three, surprise endings. Who doesn't love when a book ends in a spectacular way that you didn't anticipate or even predict? What? What? Are you serious? <gasps> Can you believe what just happened? Me either. I guess that wasn't a good idea. Number four, when reading touches on our emotions. I love it when authors write in a way that really helped me feel something about the characters or the story. And I have to admit, every time I read the book, Each Kindness, to my class, I cry. <laughs> Thank you, Duomo. You're a good friend. <laughs> and number five, reading can really challenge our perceptions. That means we can really begin to understand others who are different from us and start building some empathy towards each other. Like in My Poppy Has a Motorcycle by Isabella Quintero. It challenges me to wonder how wonderful it could be to be a young girl on the back of her father's motorcycle, traveling through the community that she loves in Southern California. Just listen to this wonderful language describing her experience. The shiny blue metal of the motorcycle glows in the sun. The sun, the sun, the bright orange sun is on its way down, turning our sky blue and purple and gold. We become spectacular celestial things soaring on asphalt. A comet, the sawdust falling from Poppy's hair and clothing become a tail following us. Now, I'm not a young girl growing up in Southern California and riding on the back of motorcycles, but I can connect to the experience of what it might be like to really love your family and your community. So I hope you enjoy reading as much as we do and please enjoy March's reading month. Duomo, where are you Duomo? It's time for bed. Aha, there you are, caught reading again. <laughs>